Hey you guys. So get on my way to work. Well getting ready to put in work. And um yeah, so I'm gonna get straight to it. Not gonna make this extra long. I'm in a good mood today. I've had a pretty decent day. I've been fighting hard for the last couple days to get this business done so I can get a house. I'm close, you guys, so I don't know how close, though. I'm on the waiting list for two different mobile homes and an apartment. So, yeah. I, in my world, am close. I gotta learn how to manage my time better. I definitely have to find another job because they're taking more out of my check than I'm bringing home. And it's stopping me from moving forward. I was going to hold on to my job as a weekend thing, but why should I have to work two jobs when I have my kids here and it's just us? I don't want to take that time away from my kids. This year was learning how not to overwork myself. So yeah, I have two other job offers also. I um. I guess it's moving forward. I'm going to stay in good spirits because it could be worse. Um, things I've noticed about myself this weekend. I know I've been saying I'm ready to date. But I'm actually... I'm ready. I am ready. It's just certain things that I haven't progressed to yet. Like meeting the kids. Of course, I talked about that. I am... Um, I have my own little fears of being a parent. Don't want to get my kids in the wrong environment, which comes with learning a person and who they are. And as I said in previous videos, I am dating. I do have someone special. They grew on me. I ain't gonna say they grew on me. I liked it in front of the beginning. It's just we work together. And I learned that lesson. <laughs> I was a hardball, but I'm lightening up. With that comes what I came to talk about. So, it's been a while since I've actually trusted somebody to date them. Um, my fear is giving my heart and getting played again. I don't like love. I don't like falling in love and then... Have to look stupid. I don't care what nobody else think, but to me, I want to be an idiot for love. I know everybody make their own decisions for their own choices or whatever. But yeah, this one is like I keep saying different. Um, he never really gave me a reason not to trust him, so I'm gonna go off the instinct and just roll with it as it comes. Uh. He do makes me smile a lot. He makes me happy right now. I know everybody know that fresh, fresh into it love be real. It be the once you progress past that first year and y'all get to know each other, y'all spend the time together. You know the do's and the don'ts, what they like, what they don't like. As you can see, I got weave back in my hair. Did it myself. I need my edges touched up. Haircut coming. Which makes me smile because, as you know, my my love, I'm not going to keep calling him a friend because we're past friend points now. Yeah, we're past friend points now. We haven't really touched each other, I will say. But it's coming. But yeah, we're past the friend point, so I'll say my love. He um he's a barber, so this should be interesting. He hustle hard too. He work. I don't know how he find time for me, but it works. He put in the chase. I stopped running. Yeah. Very genuine person. It's just that things that I was scared of, like I said. Meeting my kids. 
that's all he talks about is my kids how he's going to do for them how he wants to spend time with them he wants to have movie nights he wants to spend time with my son which is a plus in my book I'm not taking that I love that part of it I've I've dated people they were dealing with my kids because they were loving me and they know my kids is a package deal but it's like he's in love with me so his main focus is to get a chance to t help me take care of my kids it's like he not really trying to win them over he just trying to naturally help me do what I am doing by myself which greatly appreciated but that's what we that's normally what I would have to ease into somebody doing for my kids um I am going to get to the point where I allow him to do that I just need time my kids is open to it I talk to my kids about them they know that I am officially dating I am courting shall I say and yeah to see them excited of somebody possibly coming along with us it's different it's like a brush of a breath of fresh air because they like we ain't dealing with nobody that was all of our attitude but he don't he's not overbearing like he's not trying to move too fast he's not trying to force himself upon us he's gradually doing it he'll mention them ask how they ate see if they need anything he offered to help with anything they need school clothes resources all of that I appreciate this one because he is a nice guy and it is kind of like once you've been traumatized that's what this is about once you've been traumatized and you're trying to move on that nice guy thing tends to run a person off but I'm gonna feed off into this one because like I said it is it makes me smile and it's making me happy he has a glow when he's around me and it would take for people to see him around me to see what I'm talking about but he be excited just to be in my presence, which is why I love the fact that I am into him. It's very often that you get a person that's excited just to be in your presence. Because we don't do anything but talk about a whole bunch of stuff. My apologies, but we have a very good communication. That right there is another... Thing that I'm ready for communicating the things I normally shut down on he's talking he's talking me through them I get frustrated a lot when handling business and it don't go my way I don't think that my world is ending but it kind of rubbed my day the wrong way and he experienced that for the first time and his approach to it was to get my mind off of it ease my mind a little bit that helped me because when I'm around my kids and I'm frustrated, I don't want to be bothered. I don't want them to say anything to me. I just want them to go about their way so I can get my head clear, which is impossible to clear when you got so much going on. I don't have high blood pressure, but I do feel it coming. <laughs> but the way he talked me through it is like, take your time. Everything going to come. If there's anything I could do, let me know. Don't be a hardball. Let me help. And it's like, you know, I'm not about to do all that. I got to take care of this by myself. But he's still like, I'm going to do some things on my end and just trust that everything going to be great. Cool. I can see this being a nice relationship. He cares about respect, my feelings. He's more into making me happy right now without money. Which is another plus about dating. It takes a really strong person to date someone that's not on their level. Like women is, is known to date a man who has nothing. And then once he get on his feet, he leaves that woman. It's very rare to catch a man that will date a woman who doesn't have her shit together. I'm not saying it don't happen. I'm just saying he's a special man when he dates a woman who doesn't have her shit together. I'm fresh here. I'm new. New face around town. 
I don't have anything. I got a pot to piss in. I just ain't got a window to throw it out of. You understand? I don't have a house. He he don't care. He helping me look for one. He like, I got you. I've been here. I know my way around. I got you. I'm going to call a couple people. I'm like, oh, okay. You still trying to date me and I ain't got nothing? I got work related things going on with my check where I can't afford enough so I'll be in low income he don't care his thing to me is he have everything he want out of life he just needs somebody to share it with my thing is I'd rather have all my shit together than to be on somebody's shoulder and half ass it I'm used to having my shit together I'm just fresh here so I, of course I ain't got my shit together But the fact that he understand and he don't care makes me makes me be like, okay, that's Bay right there. I have my own car and I take care of my kids. I feed them. Yes, I do. He don't care about a bridge card or none of that girl. But no, it, it's a it's a pleasant thing to 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 appreciate a man. I can under I can say now that. I'm dealing with a man is different. I, I I I say I'm ready because I'm ready to explore that part of the relationship. I'm ready to feel love again. I'm ready to go to sleep and wake up to the same person forever. I'm I'm ready for me to sit down with somebody and come up with a game plan for my kids. Like when I go through parents and stuff, and it's time to tackle things i don't have to bear all that by myself my kids go out and do something i have a level head i want to have a level-headed person that's going to help me get through that i i think it's 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 beautiful when men take care of kids that don't belong to them but it's kind of like common grounds because you want to deal with this woman so that's the ne that's the necessities of dealing with her when she comes with kids as a man, I respect that. I, I look at men different now. I never say all men. I just say majority. Because uh, we do have some Russell Wilsons out there. It's just... <laughs> we got so many fuck-ups. It's hard. But no. All my traumas of dealing with relationships and going through my teen years of trauma. He's slowly breaking those down. Like... I'm sorry, y'all. As y'all can see, it's fucking hot. Excuse my French, but it is hot, hot. Georgia is hot. But yeah, he he breaking down all the traumas that I was hesitant about. All my barriers that I have to worry about. He's showing me that there's no worry. His main sentence he tell me before we hang up is, I got you. No matter what we do, whether we are lover or we are friends, I got you. Is that he's a Capricorn, I believe him. With that being said, because I don't have much to talk about, I just wanted to get out my my realizations of what be holding me back and noticing myself sabotages and telling myself it's okay to move forward. Ride this one out. Rather it work or not. We were happy at some point. So just ride it out. Enjoy the happy while it lasts hope it lasts forever but you know i'm gonna keep this smile as long as he give it to me of course yes i seen him today but that's neither here or there i hope you guys are having a good day because i am about to go ready get ready to go in here and clock in sit in this air because lord been sweated this whole little weave off talk to you guys later See you guys soon.